This is the first time in his words that he's told an audience uh, how he's feeling. I will give you a taste of what is quite a long speech. Uh, he says, I must begin, I must say that I can only imagine what you may have heard or perhaps read over the last few weeks. So I want you to hear the truth from me as much as I can share, not as a prince or a duke, but as Harry, the same person that, me pe person that many of you have watched grow up over the last 35 years, but with a clearer perspective. The UK is my home home and a place that I love that will never change. I've grown up feeling support from so many of you and I watched as you welcomed Megan with open arms as you saw me find the love and happiness that I'd hoped for all my life. Finally the second son of Diana got hitched. Hooray. I also know you've come to know me well enough over these years to trust that the woman I chose as my wife upholds the same values as I do and she does and she is the same woman I fell in love with. We both do everything we can to fly the flag and carry out our roles for the country with pride. Once Megan and I were married we were excited, we were hopeful and we were here to serve. For those reasons it brings me great sadness that it has come to this. He then goes on to talk about how there have been lengthy discussions about what exactly they wanted to do going forward, saying the decision that I made for my wife and I to step back is not one I've made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges, and I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option.